Welcome to another high school preview segment, a part of the Palmetto Dugout show today. We got Coach Cottingham from Christchurch. What's going on, Coach? Hey, how's it going? Appreciate y'all having me on. Yeah, we appreciate you uh, joining as well as we get to jump into a Christchurch's program here. And I'm going to turn it over to Sammy to kind of break it down with you. Go ahead, Sammy. Coach, Coach, we're doing all right today. How's uh, things kind of winding down, going good for you guys? Hi, doing great. Last day of school before the big winter break. Good for you. I'm sure you're uh, ready to get ready to get a little rest and uh, get recovered before uh, baseball season cranks up here soon. A couple deep breaths and we'll be right back at it. <laughs> no doubt. Well, good. Well, well, let's uh, we'll we'll kind of start this thing off and touch a little bit uh, based on last year. Kind of, you know, give us a little quick recap. You know, talk about how how the season went last year and maybe some guys that that have now left your program that have moved on. Some of the guys that. Uh, had an impact in your program last year? Well, this is going to be my first year as the head baseball coach here at Christ Church. But uh, being the uh, assistant athletic director, uh, I was able to watch, you know, every home game and a handful of our away games uh, last couple of years, uh, just working the games. And, uh, you know, it's a competitive uh, group. You know, um, they've been kind of up and down. Uh, made the playoffs last year, won a game in the playoffs. Uh, lost eight games by one run. Um, so some tough losses, lost, uh, a senior in Will Jones, uh, who was a, a vocal leader, lead by example guy behind the plate. Uh, he's now playing at Limestone, uh, Chandler McMaster, which had a great bat played first base for us, um, and had a lot of experience. Uh, he's another leadership piece, um, that, that we're going to miss. Um, but like I said, this is a team that's, that, that, that's right there. Um, you know, the bats get hot at the right time. They prepare um the way that they need to prepare to be a championship team and they can be in it no doubt and losing eight games by one run I mean heck we all you know you know how that goes it's a it's a pitch here and there it's a play here and there where all of a sudden it's uh four or five more you know wins on the record kind of go a little bit longer in in the playoffs they are going in there but you know kind of obviously moving forward into this year some some returners off the club obviously for you you know you you know you get to see him a lot last year, but, you know, we weren't in the dugout with him. But some returners, you know, on the mound or, or, or defensively that you guys are looking forward to step up and, and help lead this team. Uh, yeah, just before moving forward, just on the last question, you know, two of those games, uh, one run losses, one being an extra innings was against uh, Southside Christian. Uh, and Coach Freeman does a fantastic job there, um, you know, and that's a program that uh, we want to be able to compete. Um, with and, 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 you know, um, compare to, you know, to see where we're at. Uh, but, you know, moving forward, as far as returners go, it starts with our strength as a team. And that's our pitching staff. Uh, we have a senior in Henry Carter, uh, class of 23, uh, has a ton of experience. He's a kid that can go the distance every time he takes the mound. Um, all region player. Uh, he's a senior captain for us. Um, you know, and he feels like, you know, he can, he can go, he wants to, you know, be able to throw a complete game every time he steps out on the mound. Uh, Lou Jack Cole, class of 25, uh, had a really, really, really big uh, fall uh, DP league playing an all-star game over at Duncan Park. Uh, pitched two scoreless innings there, looked really strong. Uh, he's also going to play some first base for us. Um, <clears throat> very, very strong arm. Loves to compete loves the lift, loves the game of baseball. Uh, Bo Lawrence, class of 26, you know, he, uh, he started for us as an eighth grade, eighth grader last year. Uh, he can pretty much do it all. He's going to pitch for us, play shortstop, has a great bat, uh, very high IQ, uh, high IQ uh, when it comes to baseball. Um, and then Jackson Rep out in center field. Uh, he's a two-year starter. He's, he also started as an eighth grader a couple years ago for us. He's got incredible range. Um, I can't wait to watch him uh, steal balls in the gap. Um, he's dangerous on the base pass. Uh, he's got a really good bat. And, you know, he's an all-state uh, receiver uh, with state championship experience. Um, so those are the guys that, that we're, we're, we're really going to look to to have a big year returning. No doubt. Yeah, you get get some athleticism in the outfield like that. Figure if you can go chase down some uh, some footballs out there, some passing routes, you can chase down a few fast uh, fly balls. And we got a chance to watch Lou Jack quite a bit this this summer. And and he's, you know, with all the data that's out there, I feel like about 10, 15 years ago, we just called it that invisible fastball. But 
kind of see a lot of the stuff that he threw with the track, man. He's got a lot of that spin rate that, you know, that ball just really, you know, he's 85, 87, but that ball really jumps and, and gets by gets by the hitters in there. So it'll, it'll obviously get some returners in there that are going to be exciting to watch. Now, what about some new guys into the program, whether it's, you know, you know, incoming freshmen, eighth graders, as you talked about some of these guys that played or some freshmen or maybe some transfers in, some guys that you're, you're looking forward to into the spring helping your ball club out. Well, the biggest shoes, like I, I mentioned previously, that we you know we have to fill is uh, to me the most important position on the field uh, in the catcher the catcher position, and that's uh, John Wisinghunt, class of twenty five. Um, you know, didn't have any experience as a varsity player last year, but sat right there next to our pitching coach every varsity game. He's a sponge. Um, he's the first guy in, the last one to leave. Um, he's already shown leadership capabilities. Um, had a great fall league. Um, he's a kid that works his craft constantly. And, you know, that's what you want at that position. Um, so we're going to need to have, he's going to have to have a huge year behind the plate and at the plate as well. Um, Tom Lawrence, Bo's brother, who is a senior, um, he's going to have to step up big um, on the mound for us. And he's going to have to go in and play some first base when Lou Jack is on the mound, which is going to be quite a bit. Um you know, Will Marquis, a kid that started last year at third base, pitched some, class of 25. Also a kid that played football for us, state championship experience. Um, you know, he's, he's got a great bat. Uh, loves to compete, and, and, you know, we can look to him to close games when Lou Jack is starting. Um, you know, really like his mentality. Kid does not get shook. Uh, he start, his first start this year was at Benedict College in the state championship as a defensive end as a sophomore and played very, very well for us. Um, and then, uh, you know, the three that, uh, you know, Ryan Coley, who's a senior uh, captain, also linebacker for us. He's, uh, he's coming back. He's going to pitch, play right field. Um, you know, he batted in the middle of the lineup most of the year last year, had a really good year. And then the two guys that I look to be a surprise uh, for us is Eli Kernigan, not a lot of experience last year on the varsity level, and Will Bolton. Um, Eli is an outfielder, um, you know, who, who has a high IQ, loves the game of baseball. Um, and Will Bolton, great glove, great arm, middle infielder, can play the corners. Um, would love to see those two guys emerge and have big years. No doubt. You know, it's also helpful. And I know, you know, a lot of, a lot of programs uh, across the state, um, you know, but you get a lot of these guys that they – they might not have experience in the baseball field or limited there come getting ready to come in on the varsity side, but get that, that experience of competing and, you know, battling and winning on the football field. It's going to, uh, you know, as we all know, you, it builds a little toughness, builds a little character, uh, you know, getting beat up on that football field, go be able to ride out there and, and slide in there and, and help you guys compete and win at the highest level. Now you kind of talked about, uh, you know, a couple of those losses, you know, against uh, Southside Christian, obviously, Great program there. Got one of the better left-handed arms, not only in our state, but in the country. But but some of those expectations, talk about battling with those guys. What are some expectations you're looking forward with your ball club heading into this year? Well, the first expectation is uh, to change the perception and the culture of the program. Um, that's something that the kids want. You know, we're at a school where, you know, all of our athletic teams are, if they're not championship, they're right there in it um, in the end in their respective sports. And, you know, our guys want to be the change. That's our motto, and, and we're going to work extremely hard and be, in, be intentional in everything that we do in our preparation so that we can also have some confidence and some respect just in our own community. Um, you know, and, and, you know, our guys, you know, it's not my team. I, I'm just, I'm just uh, you know, the guy there to help guide them, give them a vision, um, keep them on the right track. It's what they want. And um, all, I've interviewed all, every single one of our returners and, you know, they all, their, their, their goal is to win a state championship, um, you know, and, and, you know, that's what we're going to go for. So we're going to prepare like a championship caliber team and, uh, you know, just hope that the bats get hot at the right time. And, um, you know, we can make a, a, a deep push and, and be in this thing, um, you know, in the end. Uh, you know, we want to dominate our area. You know, we've got some really talented baseball um, in this area, um, you know, and, and, you know, right across the street in St. Joe's, and Coach Renfro does a fantastic job there. 
Um, you know, we're playing Blue Ridge, which, which is a, a very, very good program. Um, a lot of respect for Coach Henson. I coached over there before I took this job. And, um, you know, Southside Christian is who I mentioned. And, you know, we're playing Wade Hampton. And, you know, we, we want to win the games against the teams that's, that's, that's close to us. You know, and then we want to we want to win a region title. Um, you know, uh, we want to we want to keep our goals very very high. Um, you know, we want to work every every single day um, to get better to reach those goals. Um, you know, and our guys are are extremely excited and motivated. Um, we're looking forward to the season. No doubt. Well, obviously, like you said, you got a ton of talent in that area. Um, you know, you feel like you can throw a baseball in any direction, hit some really good players floating around up that way. So it's uh, be exciting this spring. And, and you know, obviously, we, we look forward to getting out there and watching you guys and watching the baseball up there in that area. But, you know, we, we really, really appreciate you coming on and, and taking some time and, and joining us on the show today and, and talking about your club. You know, I know you got a, you guys got an exciting group up there and looking to make those next steps forward. So we, we appreciate what you do for, for the baseball community and helping us out. And, and we're looking forward to watching you guys this spring. Well, appreciate what you all do for high school baseball in this state, um, you know, and just getting exposure, you know, for, for our athletes. That's huge. And, you know, allowing us to come on and, and share a little bit. Uh, greatly appreciate it. No problem at all. Thank you, Coach. All right. See you guys.